Hey guys, Steve Watch, Beamer Toyota, and you might be wondering why I'm showing you a damaged vehicle. There is a really good reason for it, and it's because you asked for it. So here's what I'm going to tell you. So a lot of times people get confused over what the parking sensors are, what the blind spot monitors are, and a couple of other things. And this gives me the ability to show you guys something, all right? So um, what I'm first going to show you is something that's on this Prius over here, okay? These sensors, and I've done videos on what these sensors are. These sensors that are right here can be on the front, on the back. They're little sonar bugs, all right? And they are a very particular little beam that comes out and, and it's, uh, it works just like sonar, right? So, um, and, and it, you know, there's several of them that usually go across the front uh, or the back of a vehicle. And people think that that is their blind spot monitor sensor. That is not your blind spot monitor sensor. Um, what your blind spot monitor sensor is, is this right here. So if you look, you're going to see this sensor and there's one on both sides. So come back over. You can see there's one on both sides. And what that comes out is about a 45 degree angle, right? And it comes out to, um, on both sides and it watches for a car to be in that vicinity. All right. So, um, and it's like i said this is just very cool that i was able to show you guys this and i just drove past this and saw this so you see your blind spot monitors right here in your mirror right and it lights up that light so it will light up that light for you if you um if there's somebody that's in your blind spot all right so now this is pretty much how most blind spots work so it doesn't matter if you're on a toyota a nissan a, um, a honda a chevy they all have a similar setup and it'll be at about a 45 degree angle because what they're looking for is a vehicle that's coming up in your blind spot, you know, oddly enough. So um, you can still have, now this one's an XLE, so this one doesn't have the, the little bullets on it. Um, so you can have the, uh, uh, like the limiteds and, um, and platinums and that, that would have those little bullets still depending on how the car is set up you can still see that all right depending on what kind of car it is you know it doesn't have to be a toyota it doesn't have to be an suv if it's got a blind spot monitor it will have a sensor like that if it has the parking assist type sensors it's a different system so like i said i'm just trying to show you guys the difference between the two but that is how that system looks and this is what that back uh, back bumper fascia removed right there very easy to see it like i said so if you you'll get uh, sometimes people will back into something and they'll hit this spot of their bumper and when they hit that spot of their bumper it will show a blind spot monitor fault and it will say it in your center dash so if it says blind spot monitor fault and you hit it there and a lot of people will look at that little center little button and go well the button's still there the button's fine it's nothing to do with the button guys <laughs> that little the little circle thing has nothing to do with that, all right? It has to do with this right here. If you change the angle of that sensor, if you crack that sensor, if you jostle that sensor in a way, um, there's a lot of things that can happen to that sensor that will cause that fault. And I've seen very, very little damage to that exact spot. I saw it once on a Sequoia, to that exact spot where somebody backed into something and just so happened to hit that spot and it caused a problem now i will tell you that it's a it's a it's not a crazy bad issue to fix but it does have to be calibrated so if you're going well i'm just going to go ahead and fix it on my own you might change that sensor and still get a calibration error because if you don't calibrate it right and i'm not going to say i know how to do it i just know that i've seen it so if you don't calibrate that sensor right it's not going to read properly so um, it'll either continue with the fault. So even though you change the sensor, you still have a fault. It'll either continue with that fault or um, it will uh, read wrong. So it'll turn on in the wrong time or something like that. I mean, there's a couple of uh, things that could happen with that, of course. And I'm not saying I'm the end all be all on, on, uh, end -all, be -all, on all of the information on these things. Um, I've, I've been a mechanic for years, but I'm gonna tell you, I never worked on these, okay? I just know what they are, I know where they are, and I know a few of you have asked me what the difference between those and those little bullet sensors are in some of my other videos. So um, I wanted to give you guys an answer, and I, like I said, I drove past this one at our collision center, and I was like, man, I've got the answer, here you go. So like I said, it doesn't have to be a Toyota, it can be you know any other brand. If it has a blind spot monitor, it's that sensor. It's got a bigger range of view 
than what those little uh, those little bullets do. So that's what you're looking for for that sensor, and it's going to sense the metal of the car, of course. And um, sorry, hit a bug. Um, but it's going to um, it's going to watch that for you guys. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of answers. Um, but Steve Watts with Demon Toyota in Nashville. Sure do uh, appreciate you guys liking and subscribing. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, definitely give me that thumbs up. I appreciate every one of you guys. Check out the other videos. Like and subscribe. Um, always trying to help you guys out. Steve Watts, Beam and Toyota, downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.